He's going to come right in here. morning of October 28th it's a little bit before nine o'clock this morning we haven't really had time to do an interview we've been covered up in deer uh, ever since we climbed up in the tree stand this morning uh, before light we had one little buck chase a doe up over the hill he was kind of grunting running her around in the dark and uh, and we've seen probably I think two other bucks and four or five does since then we're down in here on the creek bottom farm on the set we hung uh, earlier this summer so this is one of my favorite spots during the rut it's just an awesome spot to catch these deer cruising tons of draws basically all funnel down into this creek bottom it separates two big blocks of timber um, I know I've been saying it here the past couple days but this is one of those farms that just heats up this time of the year uh, you know, last year I ran cameras on this farm basically all the way through season. And I bet I had 15 different bucks from October 25th to about the middle part of November uh, down here on this creek bottom. So I mean, you really never know what's going to come through here. There's so many ditches that funnel down into here. Just one of those good spots to be in. So we uh, also brought Hunter's bow this morning. He finally got his hour of residency, so he'll be carrying his bow uh, on a couple different farms that we go to. So if something comes by that trips his trigger, we'll definitely uh, let him let it uh, fly. So there's only one buck that we're in here after that we know of, and it's that tall nine pointer we've been getting pictures of on the south side of this farm. But I mean, I know for a fact that there's way more than one mature buck in this area. So, um, you know, I'm all in for a surprise buck, as Bill would say. So we're gonna settle in, give it another hour or two. Not real sure where we'll end up this afternoon, but we'll probably be in the tree somewhere. Hi guys, it's a little bit after two o'clock. We decided not to hunt this afternoon. Hunter was gonna catch up on a little bit of editing from this morning. Um, so I decided to come out to the CRP farm and put out uh, just two cutty links here. Um, last year I ran cameras on uh, some big oak trees back there and got really good inventory of some deer, but I was also checking that camera. You know, I probably checked it, I don't know, maybe three or four times during the season. Um, and it was about this time, you know, late October, early November, that these deer started to roll in and really start hitting those scrapes. So um, I figured I might as well come out, put a I'm gonna put a home camera on the south end of this farm where I can drive in and basically check it uh, without spooking anything. And then I'm gonna put uh, the other one on those oak scrapes so I'll, so I'll definitely know what's going on back there on the other side of this field um, without going back there and to check it. So should be, uh, should work pretty well, I think. Um, like I said, last year I got really good inventory back there. So uh, looking forward to it. Nothing's showed up yet out here, but um, you know, like I keep saying, it's. It's only a matter of time for something nice to start showing up. So um, at least with these cuttybacks, I'm not going to come out here and be checking them all the time. I can come and check this one uh, and pop right back out and not do any harm. So I'm going to get this home set up and then I'll get back there to the oaks and get that one set up. So I just got that first uh, home camera set up on the south side of the farm. And I've actually been getting decent amount of pictures um, on a mock scrape. Everything's you know, middle of the night, nothing in daylight, which I really wouldn't expect, um, just cause it's kinda cl close up here to the road. But um, anyway, I should get decent inventory, at least on that camera. Um, 
you know that way i just don't have to burn a camera just to put it on a trail or something just to to have it linked to the home it's actually gonna do some good uh being there as a home camera anyway so i'm walking back to the oak scrapes now which is in the back of the property um and i'm walking here and basically with this cutty link system um you just keep walking until you get to your spot or you run out of signal but this big flat field should be uh shouldn't be any issue for this to link back to the home camera so i mean right now i'm 88 percent good and i'm not that far away anyway but anyway i'm gonna get back here to these oak scrapes and uh get this camera put out not real sure where we'll be hunting tomorrow i was thinking about going in after the double split deer that big nine pointer um he'd shown up uh in a big creek funnel that nine pointer did daylight i think on the 24th i think it was like 8 30 in the morning they just picked some corn on the west side of the creek and on the east side of the creek it's still in but uh this is kind of on the north side of that split deer's range and kind of more into the uh big nine pointers range so i'm thinking maybe tomorrow morning we'll get in there and hopefully get after one of those two deer so we'll keep you guys updated 